It's been over five years since the attack, and none of the survivors has spoken about the tragedy until now. We wanted to celebrate as something as beautiful as friendship over the years, long, you know, long-lasting friendships. And um, that's how we ended up in New York. Martin Marro lost five friends on that fateful day on the bike lane in Manhattan, a time of celebration turned into tragedy. Mr. Saipov ran over us with his truck and, and killed five of my friends. We were, um, we were biking in five rows of two, and, um, and we were just chit-chatting and having, you know, nice conversations about our families. Uh, it was a beautiful sunny day and um, everyone on, on the Hudson River side survived and everyone on the center of the bike path or on the road side, if you like, um, got killed. He says it's been difficult to overcome the grief of surviving the largest attack in the city since 9-11. Intentionally taking someone's life, let alone lives, is a concept foreign to him. The concept of terrorist attack and death, it just is hard to understand for me. And yet Martin says forgiveness is always a possibility. Still making ISIS propaganda, he said that, you know, um, the courtroom will be filled with tears and blood of Muslim victims around the world. And he's just convinced that what he did is the right thing to do. So if he's ready to accept forgiveness, if he regrets what he did, I'll be happy to forgive him. Martin, who lives in the U.S., met his friends at the airport when they arrived from his hometown of Rosario, Argentina. Here he is seen posing with his friends with T-shirts that read free, an inside joke for the wives who had agreed to let them go. And this is cell phone video of the friends on their bikes just minutes before the attack. In his home in Boston, Martin keeps the memory of his friends alive with these special pictures of better days. What stays in our souls, in our minds, is the beautiful friendship that we managed to, to have together. I feel so privileged and so lucky that I met my friends. I learned from all of them something in my life. A part of what I am, of how I feel, um, is because of the friendship I have with my friends. Meanwhile, in his native Rosario, this is a memorial that keeps the group's memory alive. We all had, I think, a good life. And, you know, we, we were people, happy people, and, um, you know, uh, trying to do good things for, for others, you know, and um, it is hard. It is hard. Um, in my case, I'm a scientist in the biomedical field. I do research and drug discovery and, uh, you know, my, my job is to try and discover drugs to extend the life of people or um, to save the life of people. And, you know, the concept of terrorist attack and death, it just is hard to understand for me. It was beautiful to see the unity and the strength and the love, um, the resilience, the bravery, the courage that all these families have. And I um, keep learning from them. Back home, the survivors and victims' families are working so this doesn't happen again and live by the motto, may love overcome hate. Que el amor vence al odio, may love overcome hatred. That's the phrase that represents us. We want to love, you know, good human values and faith and good values and unity to prevail over hatred.